Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, today filming the first video from our newer house. Yes, it's a smaller house, but it's very beautiful guys, but I will keep that till the end. Uh, in today's videos, four amazing charts and really amazing charts, two charts you need to see today. Yes, of course, also the trading tip, of course, also the travel tip, of course, also the live advice, and of course, also talking about some news, because there is two news items today that I need to talk about. One is a new decentralized social media platform that I will start to use with the family, and two, yes, something very beautiful happened in our lives if it comes to the house. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts first, because I know you wanna see what Bitcoin is gonna do. Yes, keep nodding yes, today. Let's quickly jump into the charts. Bam. The first chart of today, guys, is this beautiful four hour chart. On a four hour chart, you can see that exactly happened what I told you guys that would happen in the last couple of videos. There was a beautiful sell signal in the Bitcoin family indicator setup that we use. Yes, we were closing about down below the yellow stepping line and there was a lot of, let me show you over here, yellowish and even bluish started to come. And yes, the blue line was going down below the white line. And it was a perfect combination for that short. And that short has been playing out exactly to the levels that I showed you. We can even drop to that gray level over there, guys, which is 35,650. This is the first very interesting chart. This is showing you what adoption means. This is a comparison of addresses holding more than an X amount of Bitcoin per year. The top one is more than 0.01 Bitcoin. The second one, the middle one, is more than 0.1 Bitcoin. And the third one, the bottom one, is more than 1 Bitcoin. We can see growth in all of these categories more people are holding 0.01 Bitcoin, more people are holding 0.1 Bitcoin, and more people are holding even more than one Bitcoin. To be a little bit more specific, at the moment, more than a million people own one full Bitcoin. It's more than 4.5 million people that own 0.1 Bitcoin. And there's more than 12 million people that now own 0.01 Bitcoin. This is what adoption means. And this is gonna grow even more high in the far future, guys. We are only in 2023. I think in the next two huge bull market cycles, we are gonna go way higher than these numbers, guys. Way higher. So be prepared. Start to buy Bitcoin today. Then we have this amazing chart I found on Twitter. It's a very simple chart with a red hand and a blue hand. But the red hand tells you to sell, the blue hand tells you to buy. And what do we see at the moment on the chart? That red hand. And on the bottom on the RSI, there's a two weekly chart, guys. So every candle is two weeks. We can see the same indication. Yes, we are passed by the bottom and we are now going above that dotted line. And which means the bull market is fully on. Where the top will be, we don't know. But there will be a new all-time high. And again, a red hand telling you to sell or exchange your Bitcoins into stablecoins. We just crossed above that blue line like we did before in 2020 and also down there in 2016, the moments we crossed above that blue line that were the moments the Bitcoin bull run started. So don't be fooled. Don't let people tell you we go to 20K and 10K again. We will go to a new all-time high. You should be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. I keep repeating it. Then we have this beautiful chart. This is showing you what the alt season could look like because this is the crypto market cap without Bitcoin and Ethereum, exclusive Bitcoin and Ethereum, just all the other cryptos aside of Bitcoin and Ethereum. And they have now this huge, large rounding bottom. And when we mostly take off from such a beautiful rounding bottom, we create new all time highs. And that is very beautiful to see down below on the charts. The momentum is already rising slowly. The bullish MACD crossover has been there. So we could take this from a $450 million market cap all the way up to a $1.7 trillion market cap if we keep touching those lines that we have been touching. And look to the left top, you can see the pattern that has been drawn over there. That is the exact pattern that we are following now with that market cap, the crypto market cap without Bitcoin and Ethereum. So yes, that could be a huge breakout, but in my honest opinion, it will not happen in 2024. In my honest opinion, it will happen between 2024 and 2025. So the ABC that you see on top, I think it should be stretched way more to the right all the way into 2025. But it's just giving you an indication on how big 
that whole crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, could become, guys. Very cool chart. And that was also the last shot. I'm keeping it short because I'm going to do my Muay Thai lesson today. I can't film the complete house, guys, because we didn't settle in yet. We still need to put the boxes everywhere and all the stuff. But I hope you really enjoyed these charts. These charts were amazing. Yes, give it a thumbs up. One or two or three thumbs up. How many thumbs up do you want to give? I don't care. Give thumbs ups because I really love these charts. And these charts show you that you should be still accumulating Bitcoin. It is not too late. That's why the title of yesterday's video was, Are You Too Late? No. <laughs> You're not too late. We are just getting started. We are just leaving that bear market bottom into the first pre part of the bull market, going to huge new all time highs, depending on all the news and all the spot ETFs being approved. This will mean a shitload of new liquidity into the market, even to the altcoin market, like you saw on the chart. That chart was without Bitcoin and Ethereum, but all the other tokens. That could become a trillion dollar market cap. So, hope you enjoy the charts. Let's jump into the trading tip. Before we go into the trading tip, I'm going to check if the smart house is really smart. Alexa, what is the Bitcoin price today? One Bitcoin is worth $36,400. Let's jump into the trading tip because you want to trade Bitcoin and I want to play some uh, pool billiard, billiard, billiard over here, guys. Uh, the trading tip for the day, guys. I know I repeat some trading tips many times because you, it's very important. Always use risk management, guys. I keep repeating it. Risk management is very important. Use stop loss orders to limit the potential losses. Always use the stop loss orders. Also, when you talk about risk management, it means about the size of the trades that you take if you compare it to your portfolio. Don't do trades of 50% of your portfolio, maybe 2%. If you get a little bit more confident, maybe up to 5% of your portfolio per trade that you take. That's all about risk management. And risk management is very important because the moment you apply risk management, you will feel way more calm in all the trades that you do. If you trade every time with the full capital, your full portfolio, you will always feel like, oh, should I take profit? Oh, should I take loss? Because it's too much. Risk management, start with small amounts. I'm gonna shoot because you can see now a side of football, I can also like hit those balls over there. Um, give me a moment because we need to turn the black one like this, of course, like this, and then, um, uh, let's see if I can. Uh, let's, see, let's see if I can get one into the pocket. Everyone will wake up now. You see, risk management. You can't hit the balls good every time. Nothing went in. So yes, put your stop loss orders in and use your take profit orders as well, or even the trailing stop loss to, to decrease the risk of your trades. That was the trading tip for today. Let's jump into the travel tip. The travel tip for today, guys, is always travel one time in your life solo. So before you start traveling as a huge family or whatever, try to travel solo as well. Go on this beautiful trip, even if it's just two weeks or a month, but travel all by yourself. Try to hike the Kilimanjaro or do whatever trip you always intended to do, but do it by yourself. Because while you travel by yourself, you really get to know yourself and you really improve your qualities of traveling. How do I social connect to other people? How do I fend myself against scams? How do I handle all these difficult situations by myself? By traveling by yourself, you grow as a person. And I know, of course, it's difficult. If you already have a family, and you want to travel as a family, of course, do it. But while on that trip with your family, for example, go on a hike for a weekend by yourself to connect to other people, to explore yourself a little bit more when you're without your family and kids. I think it's a very helpful tip before you start to travel as a family that maybe you should try to travel for yourself as well for two weeks. And most of you guys that live in Europe already did this, but these are different travels by yourself. These are the travels with your football team to Mallorca to party all night. That's still a selective group of people that you already know. Try to go completely by your own and discover something. Like I did it many times. For example, when I started to travel for this crypto world, I need to go to conferences completely by myself. I didn't know anyone. So I went there for a weekend or four days to Las Vegas, for example. And then I just meet the Litecoin community and I start to mingle with them and I start to fend myself for all the scammers that are possibly at those events. So it's a very beautiful life lesson that you will learn when you travel solo. 
So my travel tip for today is, of course, don't forget about your family, but when you travel solo one time in your life, um, it will give you a lot of beautiful handles for the trip that you're gonna do with your family in the future. So that was my travel tip for today. Enjoy your solo trip to the Bitcoin family here in Phuket. <laughs> Let's jump now into the next part. Hmm. The news for today, guys, I have two beautiful news items while I'll show you around this beautiful house. The first news item is we have a new house. Do you like our new house? It's not as big as the previous one. We still have four bedrooms. We still have a beautiful pool and beautiful living room. It's more compact. We like it at the moment because we are more together as a family and they still have a lot of privacy because the kids have their own uh, big bedrooms, of course, with their own equipment and all the stuff. So we love the house. It doesn't have the view that we had in the previous house. The previous house had a beautiful mountain view. But then again, this house is very neat, close to some local restaurants, some local supermarkets. It's closer to the beach and the other house and also closer to the main center um, of um, Phuket where we live. So yeah, we really love the house and we will start to uh, integrate the house more and more in our social media so you can see how beautiful the house is and how smart the house is because it's a smart house. Like with your voice, you can turn on the lights and turn on the music and camera security all over the place, outside, inside. So we feel very safe here as well. And talking about social media, we enter the second part of the news, guys. The second part of the news is really cool. The second part of the news, guys, is about the new decentralized social media platform that is paying back all the fees they earn to the customers. It's the first time I've seen a platform doing this. And that is because it's a decentralized platform. There is not like a huge company behind it. Of course, there's always a team working on it, but they decentralize it. And the complete tokenomics are built so that everything that is generated in fees will be paid back to the community. So you start to really earn by participating in this social media platform. The link to the social media platform is, of course, down below. It's a special link. If you use my link to sign up to Republic, that's the name, Republic today, guys, then, uh, of course, I will give you a small surprise at the end of the week. To all the people that sign up using my link, I will give you a small surprise at the end of the week. And a small surprise can be a cool T-shirt, can be a little bit Bitcoin, can be a lot of things, guys. But you need to sign up using my links to Republic today. I have already posted a few pictures. I have already posted a couple of videos. I'm testing the platform already for months. And now it's time for you to start using the platform and earning some Republic tokens as well, guys. Um, yes, very beautiful platform. Yes, you should join me over there as well because I don't want to run into the situation again that somebody can delete my account uh, like it happened the last couple of times and all the other social media platforms except for Noster, which is also completely decentralized. That's my decentralized Twitter over there. But this one, Republic, is going to be my decentralized Instagram slash Facebook. So please do check this out on board early because then you can grow as much as possible community and you can also earn your referral fees by referring people you earn Republic tokens again. By posting every day also earn Republic tokens. By just opening the app every day you earn Republic tokens. So now I've shilled Republic a lot of times and I'm not even being paid to shill Republic. I'm just shilling this platform because I'm using it and because I believe in decentralization of social media. I want social media completely to be decentralized and unstoppable. Just like Nostr is unstoppable, Twitter is stoppable, Instagram is stoppable. I lost my account a couple of weeks ago. Republic, unstoppable. So that's why I'm supporting their platform and I'm not being paid. I am being paid by the platform itself if you sign up using my link. And if I open the platform every day. That's how I get my Republic tokens. And maybe when they will be listed on Bybit, I will start buying Republic tokens as well. Very cool opportunity for you guys there. You heard it here again at the Bitcoin family. Now let's quickly jump into the next part. Which brings me to the question of a follower, guys. And the question of a follower was a very interesting question. The question was, you know, Didi, I know that you're all in. And he is also kind of all in. And he's like, would you even be prepared to take up a personal loan at the moment to invest that one in Bitcoin? It's a very dangerous question for me to answer, but I'm going to answer it and very honestly. But before I answer this question, I need to tell you guys, I am not a financial advisor. This is no financial advice. This is a huge disclaimer. This is just my personal opinion on what I would do. And the thing that at the moment I would do is yes, at the moment, I would be prepared to even take a personal loan. 
because at the moment I believe we are in the bull market cycle, in the pre-phase of the bull market cycle, that will go way higher than we are at the moment. So I, with a very risky trading portfolio that already went all in once in his life, would take a personal loan. Originally, I am not a person that would ever take loans. I never had a loan before, except of the loan for buying my house like years ago. But that was so, you all know that. After that, I never took a loan and I don't ever want to have a loan. I don't want to owe people or businesses anything anymore. So let that be very clear. I am not a person that does loan money for investments, for buying stuff, for small things at all. I just don't like to owe people money. I can only say I am a very risky investor because I believe that to get something done, sometimes in life you need to take a risk. If you ask me now today, should I loan some money to go into Bitcoin and will I be able to pay back that loan in a couple of months or years because Bitcoin went up? My only honest answer can be yes. Because in my honest opinion, in this part of the bull market cycle, we are just leaving the bear market, pre-phase bull market. We are still before the halving. So I believe we definitely will go to 60, 70K and make a new all-time high, which would mean doubling your capital, which would mean you will be able to pay back that loan that you took between now and 2025 when the bull market top is there. Again, I don't feel completely correct by, by saying this, and it's definitely no financial advice. Can a huge economical crisis or any other um, huge event crash Bitcoin to lower prices? Of course. So the risk is also there. So if you're going to do it, be prepared to lose that capital and be prepared to work really hard to be able to pay back that loan again. Because that is a possibility, a very small possibility in my honest opinion, but that small possibility is a possibility that it will happen, that Bitcoin will go there and crash. And that is the moment you need to start working very hard again to pay back that loan. So that is my non-financial advice, my honest opinion. I would do it. Let me know down below what your thoughts about this are. Now, let's quickly jump into the next part. And of course, ending the video with an inspirational quote, guys. It's a very short but powerful quote. Be kind. Acts of kindness, small or big, both have a huge impact on others but also on yourself. Every time when you're kind to someone else in a small way or in a big way, it will come back and it will have an impact on that person and on yourself, guys. Start to practice empathy and compassion and you will start to understand other people and people will also start to understand and listen to you. Kindness, empathy, compassion is a golden combo to change your complete mindset and life and happiness. So it's very simple and the most important part, it's completely free. You don't need to do an investment. You don't need to pay people. You just need to be kind, have empathy and compassion for others and yourself. That's the best life advice I can give you. Start every day with one small act of kindness. Make somebody else happy. You will become more happy. And then during the day, at your job, when your colleague is having issues, show empathy, compassion, help him. Try to solve his problem. The moment you start doing that, you will get a lot of compassion, empathy and kindness back. That's how it works in life. And it's completely free. You don't need to do anything. No investment needed. Your investment needed. A little bit of your time. A little bit less of your ego. And a little bit more of kindness and compassion to other people. That was my life tip for today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Let me know down below what you think about the house, what you think about the charts, what you think about everything else I talked about today. And hopefully see you tomorrow again for an amazing video, of course, on the beach. Tomorrow it's going to be a beautiful Zen walk on the beach again. Thanks for watching. Wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bam!